everybody says that cash is king. Yeah, let's, absolutely. <laughs> let's let's understand from your perspective why. Yeah, it's a great saying. You hear it a lot. All the time. Um, especially in the media. Um, every every month or so, there'll be a story in the media about um, late payments, about how important uh, cash is and how cash is king and cash flow is the lifeblood of yep. any business. And it's true. Very true. Uh, and, you, you know, in, in the media context, it's often talking about cash flow problems. Yep. Why is there a cash flow problem? Why is it so hard to get paid? Um, as a business, that's a question that a lot of small business owners ask themselves every month. Why yeah. is it so hard? Why can't I just get paid? Uh, and, you know, having spent a lot of time trying to solve this problem, uh, it all begins with the fact that you're selling your goods and services on credit. You are giving interest-free credit to your customers. You're Which... delivering, delivering the goods and services up front. And you're sending out an invoice and asking them to pay on the 20th of next month or in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. So it's technically, let's take me as an example, as a small yeah. business owner. You're absolutely right. So I do the work. I invoice. I do all my invoicing on the 20th. I don't get paid till the next 20th. So I've technically given them 60 days worth of... Exactly. Interest-free credit. And interest -free it's great. Credit. It keeps, uh, oils the cogs of business and, yeah. you know, it gives your customers a chance to, um, you know, sell the, assemble the goods that the, that you've supplied into other goods and sell them and make some money. Yep. Um, it's, it's a great system. Yep. Uh, the problem is that for, um, if you've provided that credit, you're now waiting to get paid and now you've got a cash flow problem because your customer is in control of when you get paid. Yep. You might have agreed to be paid on the 20th of the following, but that doesn't always happen. Um, and there are a lot of reasons for that. Uh, and um, they, they make the decision about if you get paid and when you get paid. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there's normally some sort of an agreement up front in the form of a contract that I will get paid on the 20th. And to be honest, though, 90% of companies that I work with me on the 20th yeah absolutely Bang on. It's, yeah I'm, touch wood i haven't had a problem I, yeah. I haven't had a big problem but i understand where you're coming from you're, you're you're trying to move that timeline forward to help the subcontractor absolutely yeah because yeah. i think one of the things i found is that often uh you know you take you as an, an, an as an example again you've completed the job yeah you know you did a great job yeah Hoping, um hopefully you know it's all <laughs> being signed off and approved by the customer yeah um, they've got the money in the bank. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when are they going to pay you? They're going to pay you on the due date. Yeah. Yeah. When do you need the money? Yesterday. Five days before? Yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So what's that actually worth because, to you? Because, because income tax or IRD isn't, isn't, isn't waiting or, or giving me the 60-day credit that I'm giving my... Yeah, true. And so it comes down to... Be, it's in a, in a lot of cases, it's a timing issue. It right? is, yeah. Um, and you know, the, you know, you'll have GST due on a certain day yep. or, you, or you'll have staff that has to have to be paid weekly or fortnightly. Yeah. Um, you know, in, in construction in particular, yep. main contractors tend to pay their claims towards the very end of the month. Subcontractors are waiting for those funds. They have to pay their suppliers on the 20th. Yeah. And so there's just a timing mismatch. Oh, it is. And it yeah. causes a huge amount of stress, um, and hassle. And to me, uh, when you when you actually break it down and you look, hey, the, that claim's signed off. It's approved. Get the money out. Yeah, the contractor's got yep. the money in the bank. Yep. They're not. They can't invest it. They can't put it into term deposit because it needs to be paid out in two weeks' time. So nobody's actually having beneficial use of that money Correct. for that period of time. Yeah, they're kind of like surplus funds or dormant funds. Yep. And you're not really, or you might be earning a little bit more interest now at the bank uh, with inflation and increase in interest rates. But yep. up until recently, you're earning basically nothing. Yeah, uh, be zero point one percent interest. Yeah, on a call account, so those funds are sitting. It's working capital, but it's not working. Yeah, you know? it's just sitting idle, and and that's the problem you're trying to solve with. Exactly, or you are solving with related AI. Yeah, absolutely. So we 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 uh we sit in the middle and facilitate uh, early payment of those funds um, for a fee, at, and we try and keep it. You know, our goal is that to keep that as low as possible. You know, yep. we want it to be a no brainer. Yeah. You know, if you're thinking, oh, that's a bit too expensive, we've failed. You know, yeah. we want to be getting that price absolutely right. What's it worth to you, Andy, to get your customer to pay you today rather than at the end of the month? You can actually decide on Relay. You can set your own rate if you want. Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, for me, for me, more so, it is, it is the, the hassle of having to chase them up for an yeah. overdue invoice. Yeah. I hate doing that. 
Like, oh. like just, like, I don't think anyone would like likes doing, doing that, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, this way, that's taken out of the equation, apart from when you actually get into dispute. So what yeah. happens when you get into dispute? Uh, well, we try and stay out of that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'll automate the process, but I'll stay out of the dispute. Yeah, How does well, that we work? can't, you know, I think, you, you know, um, you know, pay, we're, we're a payments company, we're a financial service. Yeah. Um, actually, that's my background, working in payments. Uh, what are payment? What you know? What does payment? What does it mean to make a payment? It's moving money from A to B. Yeah. Right. Um, Transfer of cash. Sounds easy. Pretty easy. Simple. Uh, but you can't credit, credit debit accounted for. Yeah. Some accounting book somewhere. But cool. you can't actually make the payment until something's approved. And it, if it's in dispute, it's not approved. Right. So. So okay. So so based on your process. Yeah. You know, I go claim the early payment. The money gets released into my bank account. Mm-hmm. But that invoice now goes into dispute after the payment's been made. We would, we try to avoid that. That would, that's not a situation that we want to get ourselves into. So, but, but if, you have if controls chance, in place. If there's a, ch- yeah, we, we'll, we'll want to wait until that invoice or claim it has been approved and accepted right. by both parties. Okay. So you will not make the payment unless and until the main contractor actually pushes the approve button. Correct. But then you will not wait a second after he pushes the approve button to get those funds into the subcontractor's account. Uh, it's, it's not. It, it oh, doesn't quite not. quite work like that in terms of the approval process, but we we take those approved claims from the main contractor when they're ready to pay. Yeah, and you know sometimes uh, we've got subcontractors on on the system. On the day that we load the early payment offer, their claim hasn't been approved for yep. whatever reason, um, so it doesn't get included. So they might have three claims out there, but only one's been approved, so they only get the offer for one claim. Yeah, um, if there's you know I think. If some if there is a situation where there's a dispute or a potential dispute or a delay or a, unapproved variations that sort of thing, uh, both the main contractor and the subcontractor will usually know, and the main contractor won't be including those claims in our early payment offers. 